Greetings and welcome back. Our featured presentation today highlights 10 pioneering black fashion designers. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we share black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. Today we celebrate the impact made by African American fashion designers who were often overlooked in an industry where they make up only 1%. Black designers rose to prominence in the 1940s and have struggled for recognition and respect in the fashion world. However, the value of diversity is increasingly being recognized and the work of black fashion designers is becoming more creative, more inclusive, and more varied as both an art form and an industry. As we feature this list of fashion pioneers, we hope to enliven the conversation about historic and ongoing issues of diversity within the fashion industry. Nonetheless, we also want to take the opportunity to honor the creative talents of these pioneers and innovators who have helped shape the course of fashion. In this original Black Excellus video, we will highlight 10 pioneering black fashion designers. So without further ado, let's get started. Mildred Blount. Mildred Blount was most noted for her hat creations for celebrities and people in high society. Her interest in millinery grew while working at a hat shop in New York City. She designed heiress Gloria Vanderbilt's bridal veil for her first marriage in 1941. Her career led her to Hollywood, where she became the first African-American member of the Motion Pictures Costumers Union. Mildred was asked to design hats for the iconic film Gone with the Wind, making her the first black designer to design hats for movie actors. Stephen Burroughs Stephen Burroughs is best known for his glamorous garments inspired by New York nightlife. Burroughs graduated from the Fashion Institute of Technology in 1966 and began selling his first collections at Bonwit Teller in 1969. His work featured body-conscious silhouettes in bright and metallic fabrics. Throughout his career, Burroughs has dressed a long list of icons and celebrities including Diana Ross, Farrah Fawcett, and Michelle Obama. In 2010, he opened a design studio and showroom in New York City. Ola Hudson Ola Hudson was a famed costume designer whose clientele included David Bowie, Ringo Starr, and Diana Ross. She was a lifelong devotee of the arts, a passion that embraced all forms of self-expression from dance and fashion design to theater, photography, music, and poetry. She remained relatively unknown, but was highly revered in the fashion community. The accomplished costumer is mother to Saul Hudson. The world knows him as Guns N' Roses guitarist Slash. Jay Jackson Born in Queens, New York, Jay Jackson was an accidental fashion designer who was first introduced to the industry by a seamstress girlfriend. He began his rapid rise in the fashion industry at the age of 24. Eventually, he made his way to Paris, France, where he trained under Yves Saint Laurent and Christian Dior. Pieces by Jackson were sold in high-end luxury department stores such as Bendel's and Bonwit Teller. Patrick Kelly In a brief amount of time, Patrick Kelly took the fashion world by storm. He grew up in Mississippi and fell in love with fashion both via the creativity of his relatives and from the magazines that his grandmother brought home from work. After moving to Paris, France, Kelly quickly went from selling dresses on the street to presenting his own line of clothing. His whimsical yet politically charged designs were carried in Bergdorf Goodman and Harry Bendel and worn by fashion icons such as Grace Jones, Cicely Tyson, and Bette Davis. For more exciting, original videos, follow us on Instagram at Black Excellist. Elizabeth Hobbs Keckley Elizabeth Keckley was a former slave who bought her freedom and became a civil rights activist and seamstress. She was the personal seamstress and close friend to First Lady Mary Todd, wife of Abraham Lincoln. Her great skills enabled her to rise to prominence in both the black and white communities, effectively crossing color lines. She built a lucrative business which served Washington, D.C.'s elite. Keckley's works are currently held by the Smithsonian and the Kent State University Museum. Anne Lowe Anne Lowe's best-known design is the wedding dress that Jacqueline Kennedy wore when she married John F. Kennedy. Lowe's other high-profile clients included the Rockefellers and the Vanderbilts. Throughout her career, Lowe also ran her own boutique in New York City's Manhattan, where she designed for wealthy clients. Her work is part of the permanent archives at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Black Fashion Museum, and the Smithsonian. Art Smith Often referred to as the first African-American jewelry designer, 
Art Smith was an iconic New York City-based jewelry designer whose list of clientele included Vogue magazine, Duke Ellington, Lena Horne, and Eleanor Roosevelt. He opened his own jewelry shop in 1946 and quickly became a fixture in the downtown art scene. During his life, Smith's work was featured in Vogue and Harper's Bazaar and exhibited at the Museum of Contemporary Crafts. His expertly designed postmodern pieces were a must-have among the artistic elite of New York City. Willie Smith Willie Smith was one of the first black fashion designers to enjoy multifaceted success. In addition to his wildly popular Willie Wear line, he also designed for film and theater, creating costumes for Spike Lee's school days. In 1971, he became the youngest designer nominated for Cootie's American Fashion Critics Award, at the time the most prestigious honor in American fashion, which he would win in 1983. Smith pioneered street couture, which was comfortable, whimsical clothing the ordinary person could afford that also appealed to the wealthy and famous. Zelda Wynn Valdez Zelda Wynn Valdez is considered the first African-American fashion designer. Born in 1905 in Pennsylvania, she began her career at her uncle's tailoring shop in White Plains, New York. Not only did she receive credit for designing the Playboy Bunny costume in the 1950s, but worked with notable actresses like Dorothy Dandridge, Ella Fitzgerald, Joyce Bryant, and Mae West. In 1948, she became the first black woman to own a shop on Broadway in New York City. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us, and don't forget to like this video. Also, Make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.